breaking news. That breaking news tonight, a state trooper dragged along I-295 in Mechanicsville at more than 115 miles an hour. This mangled mess you're looking at was all that was left of the car afterward. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. The driver of that car continued for a while before finally stopping, crashing into multiple vehicles along the way. He then got out of the car and ran. 8 News reporter Jamon Reynolds spoke with state troopers about the crime and the manhunt. He's live at state police headquarters with what he's learned. Jamon. Well, Deanna, that trooper is fortunate to be alive tonight. Police say that the trooper stopped the man for going 30 miles over the speed limit. Well, that's when that man became combative, and what happened next is something no one could have ever imagined. He's very lucky to not have been injured today. This total 2021 Mazda showing the aftermath of a chaotic traffic stop. It's always upsetting when one of our own does get um, potentially harmed. Authorities say the Virginia trooper stopped a man for speeding around 4 o'clock this afternoon. They say the driver was going 97 in a 70 mile per hour zone, but the stop quickly took an unusual and dangerous turn. Um, they had an altercation between the two of them, and somehow the trooper was pulled into the vehicle. The trooper um, was inside of the vehicle when the suspect drove off at a very high rate of speed. That speed, they say, 115 miles per hour. The driver hitting two tractor trailers in the process near Creighton Road off Interstate 295. Police say the man then jumped out his vehicle and ran away. Agencies from all over coming to aid in the search. After an all-out manhunt, police found the 38-year-old man near Cold Harbor Road and arrested him. Police say they also discovered a gun in his vehicle. Our job is one of those sorts of jobs where we don't know what's going to happen from um, traffic stop to traffic stops. Police say that state trooper unbelievably only received minor cuts and bruises. He's being treated at this time, and luckily no one else was hurt in that incident. Now, questions still remain, like who was this man and why did he speed off? This incident is still being investigated. Multiple charges are pending for the suspect at this time. For now, live at VSP headquarters, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.